I've just uh, taken this cover off for the first time to clean the side, which I've more or less done. See how the lever goes into that slot. I'll take it out again. You can see the screws there, either side. So the plate just rides up and down on those screws. So basically that's the framing lever and it moves that fork which engages in that uh, roller mechanism. And that's the mechanism that moves this roller and as you can see goes up and down. It's a little bit tight, I think I might maybe loosen that, although we don't want the thing moving on its own. If we shut up again from the roller, you can see that's all working. So that now goes back in place. There's been a bit of an unexpected development. I looked right in the bottom of the old box in which the parts have been kept for 30 years and found some more bits, including this. And again, if you remember the framing mechanism here, currently off the machine, that would have been joined there with a pin. That would have gone to the top of the cabinet, outside the top of the cabinet, the case. So enabling operation of the framing lever from outside. We don't have a case, so nowhere to locate a retainer for that. So I won't be using that. Um, you've already seen this old porcelain knob that I'm going to be using instead. So, found that but don't need it. Found two driving belts and interestingly both of them are leather. So if that nylon braided take-up belt doesn't have sufficient tension, um, I'll try a leather one. And the leather is about halfway between the 3 mil that I bought and the 4.5 mil that's available. So we'll see if the 3 mil works. If it doesn't, I'll get something thicker. Other bits, not quite sure what they are. That bit's got some asbestos in that's going in the bin. Um, nothing very exciting, four or five screws. But also this, which is more interesting, as I just put it on the machine. And it's the original threaded rod for the focusing. And basically, that again would have come outside of the cabinet, the case. Um, and I can actually make this threaded unit work now. So we will have proper screw thread focusing um, of the lens, which is good. It does all stick out a bit here, but um, so does so will the shutter when it's on there. So I just have to accommodate that when I make the eventual lightweight cover for this whole thing. The motor is now bolted down in position. Those two switches have uh, polished up nicely. And you'll notice this. Because there's going to be an inspection lamp in this ceramic holder here to enable us to see what's going on without having the room lights on if the field's running or whatever. And uh, this is the switch for the inspection lamp. You see? French porcelain switch that looks the part. And the whole thing is, it's got this pull string on it. It's, the switch isn't fully working at the moment. I had to make a switch, uh, a spring for it. The spring was broken. I'm still figuring out exactly how it works inside. It does work electrically. You pull it down and it works, but then you have to push it back up again. However, what it will eventually mean is that instead of reaching all the way up from here, so there, to operate the switch, you can do it from here. Think of all that energy saving over the years of not having to move your hand up all that way. So you can switch it on from there.
unfortunately at the moment because the spring isn't fully operational to switch it off again you have to do that nevertheless that's still very considerable energy saving so I hope you like that idea and on the back it gets better because there's this very special as you can see apparently made to measure almost um, cover perforated cover for the computer fan because we don't want it to look like a computer fan at the end because this back part of the machine uh, will look period I hope when it's fully finished um, so that's the cover beautiful vintage piece of work there definitely not half of a cheap tea infuser definitely not and this little dolly switch it's a modern one but it sort sort of matches the vintage French switches if you don't look at them both at the same time it sort of matches and the power supply for the computer fan 9 volts it can be unplugged because that's easier to take the machine apart then if we need to um, and that will go into a proper socket that will be fixed there moving along this horrible orange flex is temporary I've got a beautiful colour silk covered flex that will finally be wrapped on this very special cable holder definitely not two repro Victorian coat hangers definitely not and here is perhaps the most important thing of all a period get around the right way bottle opener and it says on this side moving picture operators union local 306 I think AF of L can't remember what that means I didn't know once for the time do not patronize theatres where local 306 is picketing so we have a period and I think it really is period possibly even pre first world war certainly early 20s latest I would think moving picture operators union operators was the term of news of projectionists so we have a period projectionist bottle opener essential when you're traveling around with a projector and a special tool on the other end absolutely indispensable tool on the other end It might look to you just like something for piercing a beer can, if indeed beer came in cans in those days, or something for getting Boy Scouts out of horses' hooves, but I'm sure it has a technical projectionist use as well, which one day perhaps I'll discover. 